Hey everybody, what's up? Today I got a video uh, by request from this dude named Hussein Sire, I think. I only butchered that, I'm sure. Just dropped my phone as well, I'm trying to read that. But, anyways, so he wanted to take a SketchUp model and put it into a map. He's a giant editor, obviously. Uh, no, whoops, I already had the file open. So here's a file here, this like Hodge Sophia thing. I don't know what this thing is. I could have researched it, but I don't know. It's some sort of historical thing. So first, actually, there was, we'll close this, because I did change this effort. So let's start using SketchUp. SketchUp 3, download it. So this is what it looks like here. First off, we want to get rid of this. So we're just going to click that, delete it. And here we're left with this thing. So we're going to file, export, export 3D model. Going to go to desktop, I'm going to get a folder. I don't know, let's just call it sample. Sample. There we go. Export that. And we should have a new folder here somewhere. Sample, yep. We want to go here. Oh no, we don't. Not transactor. One step ahead. We want to go to Blender. Open Blender. Put file, import. Voila. Then we want to file. Oh, sorry, not find URL. Koala file. There we go. That's that. Next up, file, export, giants i3d, go to keep access, go to your desktop, and we're gonna go into sample, we're gonna go into our file, which we put all these in here, all that textures. We're just going to leave it untitled because whatever. Name it whatever you want. And we're going to go in here. Going to go under texture file. Going to edit this with notepad plus plus. And you should see it gives you this file path. So right now, I put everything in with our. Uh, actually, whoops, we've skipped a step. So, if you want to do this, you can to clean everything up, what you can do is edit these with um, Paint.net. This way it will not give you an error in your file. Save as DBS. You can do this, but you don't really have to. If you're just using the map for yourself, it doesn't really matter. Otherwise, it'll just give you some warnings. But for time's sake, I won't show you that. You can do that. It'll just give you less warnings. So what was it doing here? Oh yeah. You want to edit this with Notepad++. And so you want to take this file path all the way up to here, the first file name. So we're going to copy that. We're going to control F. So we're going to find it and replace it. And we're going to replace it with just nothing. So replace, replace. Go right down the list. Close that. Save that. If we open this up, there we go. There's your Taj Mahal or whatever it is. I don't know. Kind of reminds me of Taj Mahal. But yeah, this doesn't look like much now, but what we're going to do is we're going to delete the lamp because we don't need it. And you have all these sketchup things. We're going to select the first one, all the way down, press shift, and then select the last one. We're going to cut that. We're going to create a new transform group. We're going to paste it into here. If you have a 
low end PC, it might take a while. I have fairly high end, so it's kind of instantaneous, but this is a huge model, so. Okay, we just paste, paste it in here so we know what we're looking at. So we don't have to go through all the things individually. So, we're done with Giants Editor for that file. So, now, I'm going to take uh, this file. Well, actually, first, we're going to find your map. We're just going to go into um, wherever it maps. We're just going to go on the map of one. Whatever, wherever you want. Anywhere inside your thing, really. We'll just chuck it in this folder. So we're just going to copy here. I always copy instead of cut because if you screw something up, you can always go back and get the original one. So, map by one. Usually, if you want to go into a, a map, go into your mods, your map name, maps, and then map by one should be there. Map by one will pretty much be the name of any giant's map, but that's how you're supposed to do it, but like I said, I've seen map for people name it whatever you want. Okay, it's took a little while, because it's like a big file, so it takes a little while, so we're gonna go to import. I would say here, then we gotta remember where to put it, go to maps, here, then we're gonna pick our i3d file, import that. Where is it? Where did it go? Oh, it's over there. You know, I don't know why it's so slow to move across the map. And since I can scroll much faster backwards, that's what I'm going to do. I hate how... Uh, Slow this is to move around maps. Anyway, so now it's like below the ground. We don't want that. So we just move it up. I'm assuming if you're asking how to do this, you already know the basics of Giant Senator, but yeah, this thing's huge. So I'm just gonna move it to where you want it. That's kind of good enough for me. So there's that. And it's placed, you can place it wherever you want it. about it. We got all these errors down here, but when you save it, these will all go away. And like I said, when you perform texture, if you change them all to the DBS like I showed, you won't have those errors. Then these, it, you really can't get rid of them. Not easily. It'll probably take hours to figure it out for each single one of them, because you have to remap each texture and change it to a DBS and change the file set or the file resolution so it's like 2048 or multiple of two so we're not gonna worry about that but that's your basic tutorial obviously you want to save it and uh, away you go